Welcome inside our San Francisco studios. It's inside Pac-12 football, the digital edition. I'm Mike Am, joined by a couple Trojans, Curtis Conway, Matt Leinert. I don't know if you guys even want to talk about this game. <laughs> <laughs> what are you saying, man? Oh, take the knife out, yeah. why don't you? Stanford and Oregon State, both of these teams coming off wins. Yeah. Stanford, obviously, just it was a huge win for them. Maybe it's this, this defining moment of this particular season because we had some doubts on what this Cardinal team was going to be. But which Stanford team, Matt, do you expect to see not only this weekend, but maybe for the rest of the season? Well, that's the biggest question, Mike, is is it going to be the Stanford team we saw against Northwestern who laid an egg? And maybe Northwestern's a really good football Football team, but they had a lot of struggles in that football game. Or is it the, the team that we saw beat down physically the USC offense and, and defense, really? And in that game, Kevin Hogan was outstanding. He was outstanding on third down. He was outstanding against pressure. Christian McCaffrey was a big time playmaker. That defense in the second half shut down USC's potent offense. I want to see them carry that over this week against Oregon State, which notoriously is actually a tough place to play, Curtis. And if they continue this trend upward, they are a legit contender in the North. Absolutely. And this is a different Oregon State football team that we're used mm -hmm. to seeing in the past. And this is no longer a pro-style offense. And so when you look at the type of offense that Oregon State is running, they're running a spread, more up-tempo type of offense. And if you want to beat Stanford, you have to play up-tempo. You can't slow it down. You can't can't sit there and, and take time. You have to go on tempo. And they have a quarterback in Seth Collins who can run the football. So when you talk about a new offense, running the spread, read option, Seth is a guy who can pull it and take off already. Two, hundred, two games with over 100 yards rushing. So if Oregon State wants to win this football game, I think they have to play a more imp, uh, up tempo style of play. Still wondering, too, about the health of Kevin Hogan, who was dinged up in yeah, that SC yeah. game. Looks like, look, fifth year senior doesn't necessarily need all those reps in practice. Make sure that he gets healthy for the game is what David Shaw is thinking about. And of course, for complete coverage of this matchup, end of the night, Saturday night here on Pac-12 Network, we have Pac-12 final score. You don't want to miss it. But for everything that's happening around the conference, all you have to do is follow us on Twitter. It's at Pac-12 Networks.